guys, how are you? This is Nina Perez at Memoirs of a Fat Girl. And I am here to do a really quick recipe because this is something that I like to do um, to have sometimes in the morning. Now, I am gonna have a personal trainer coming by a little bit later, so this may actually have to change maybe. I don't know, this is my journey, right? This is the reason why I did this show, is to go through my memoirs live and see what it is that works for me. I do not know. I've tried a lot of things in my life and I yo-yo a lot and so I'm trying to overcome the mindset that comes with yo-yoing and also trying to get some knowledge about what my body is doing. I don't know if I have like the skill set in my body right now to know when to stop. Um, like sometimes when I'm eating, I'll be full, but I if the plate is in front of me, I'm like, well, I gotta finish it. So then I end up finishing it and don't feel well and the whole nine yards. And then there's days I don't go eating at all. Um, my metabolism is just all over the place. So anyways, I wanted to make an overnight oat and chia um, seed. Um, I guess you could say like a oatmeal in the morning or a pudding or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to half the recipe, but I'm going to link the recipe below and it's going to be the, the full recipe. So I'm going to half the recipe because this will give me about enough for about two to three days, maybe even more. I'm gonna do one cup of old fashioned oats, which I already put in my mason jar. And then I'm going to do um, a quarter cup of chia seeds. Let's do a quarter cup. Of and chia seeds is really nice because it gives it like this really thick consistency, which is very nice and I really enjoy that. So the chia seeds go into the same mason jar. We're going to do, um, seven ounces of really warm coconut milk. And the reason I made it really warm is so that it soaks the chia seeds and the oats better. Um, so that's what I'm gonna put in here. So in here, so far, all I have is your oats and your chia seeds. And then now I'm going to pour in some milk. So this again is just seven ounces of very warm coconut milk. Okay, that's gonna go in here. And then I'm gonna put in 14 ounces of temperature, room temperature water. And so here's where I'm gonna have to have an opinion from you guys. I have three different types of sugars in this house and I'm gonna actually ask my trainer about them. So I have one trainer that says that eating raw organic honey is actually very good for you and has a lot of health um, properties to it. I also have Another one that says that just pure, 100% pure maple syrup is also very good for you. And then while I was reading, I was reading about keto and um, paleo and trying to have sugar alternatives. And so then I found this syrup, this sucrin, sucrin syrup, and it says that it's a one-on-one -on -one ratio for syrup and honey alternative. So I have zero idea which one to use. One of them has 31 carbs of grams, but only totals uh, sugars is two. So I don't know how that works. And then um, this one is 27 grams of, of carbohydrates, and then the sugars are like high, 29, wow. Okay, and then honey, Honey is the lowest in carbs. It's 18 grams of carbs, but has 18 grams of sugar. So, what's a fat girl to do here? <laughs> oh no! So I'm gonna, I I guess I'll go with, um, I'll go with the sucrin right now, I guess. And the reason I'll go with it is, yeah, it has a higher carb count, but it has a lower sugar count. So I am going to assume that that means that it's going to affect my sugar uh, in my body less. Um, I don't know. That might not even be com completely correct. So if you guys have a better answer, please, please, please give it to me. Um, so I'm just going to put um, about two teaspoons, I think is good. So I'm gonna put two teaspoons of this in here. Probably should have sprayed the um, measuring spoon. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know this trick, but if you spray the measuring spoon with like a non-stick spray, when you put something viscous and thick in there, it'll slide right off. So I'm just gonna use this. I've never tried it actually. So it'll be kind of cool to see if this is even gonna taste good. So then I'm gonna mix this all together. Uh, just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, this is very thick. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in there. 
And I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, just because I love cinnamon. You don't have to. Um, I'm sure that pumpkin spice would be nice in here. Uh, nutmeg, uh, a pure vanilla bean. Might just stick, cut a vanilla bean open and maybe just stick it in there. Um, that would be good, actually. And a little bit of freezer downstairs. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let this sit overnight. So this will sit overnight, and um, I'm gonna get this, oh, it does fit. I'll get another jar for that. So this will sit overnight into the fridge, and in the morning, I'll just take a nice little, uh, maybe half a cup full or a cup full, and I'll put some fresh berries on it. Um, raspberries go really good with this, blueberries. You can also even make like a compote or a jam. Just take all of your berries and throw them into um, a pot with lemon, a little tiny bit of squeezed lemon juice in there. Let it cook down. You got yourself like a little jam and you don't have to really use sugars or anything. I love this stuff. It's so good and it's a really, really, really thick, really thick. Um, so when it sits overnight, it's gonna get much thicker. All you have to do at that point is go ahead and um, it makes a little bit more warm coconut milk if you want, a little bit of water if it's too thick for you. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that recipe below. Uh, in a little bit, I'm gonna have this woman named um, Rocio coming in and she is a personal trainer and she is a triathlon athlete. Uh, so she will be coming and just showing us like a quick snack that she likes to have that's super simple and maybe giving us some tips on how to think positively to move forward in this journey. So thank you so much for watching. This is Nina Perez at Memoirs of a Fat Girl, going from F-A-T to P-H-A-T in real time. And hopefully you are joining me on that journey. Thanks for watching.